Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the Chameleon Craft server. How are you guys doing today? Doing pretty fantastic. Thank you very much for asking. Um, I'm changing things up a bit today. I'm going to use a texture pack by a YouTuber named uh, Tiggy Li. She um, she edits the texture pack. Uh, I don't know which one the original is, but she uses it in her videos. I've been watching her recently and she's pretty cool. Um, it's, this is a nice texture pack. It doesn't really change much um, with the actual textures of the blocks. It's mainly just the GUI, which I like. I don't really like changing textures in Minecraft because I've got a bit of a soft spot for, for the default textures. Um, I like the torches, they're the coolest. But today, I had a plan to... Um, look at the dogs, they're so cool! have got their little red and blue 3D glasses, it's really cool. Anyway, today, I thought I'd do a bit of uh, terraforming because I have a plan for the small river um, that's running around at the top of my base over here on the left. I have a plan, here it is, to basically make this like a little boat dock and have a boat where you can drive up around this river and go through the mountain because um, I feel my base is slightly secluded because um, it's surrounded all the way around with uh, mountains and although it is pretty near to spawn it's about 100 200 blocks that way you can pretty much see it when you get halfway there um, it's pretty secluded you can take the portal but I kind of want people to venture towards my base a bit more so I have tested this um, going up the stream I'll show you in a minute but my plan is to have a uh, a little boat tunnel kind of going through the um, through the mountain and then where's my wood here it is and then come out the other side oh my god look at the oh the signs they're really cool they're like little animated that's quite cool so let's make a couple of boats make two because I'm probably going to uh, destroy my boat it is a bit glitchy. Uh, boats are always being glitchy, especially on SMP servers. Uh, so here we go. You just kind of drive up or f sail up, and then when you get to a certain point, you uh, you glitch out a bit. But there you, go. you can go around. I was thinking probably there you go. Just broke the boat. Probably about here. I'd go off. Uh, maybe on this corner. I'm um, going this direction. Break through this mountain, and then we're gonna have to go downhill because um, we want to get to. Um, I think it's Y62. I measured it to the water over there because all the water um, in the world, they're all the same. Uh, the same levels. Let's kill this skeleton quick before he sees me. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. The problem is though with the having um, an angle for such a long period of time because it's going to be a big drop down is we can't just have it like that and waterfall. We're going to have to use signs, I feel. So I'm going to quickly cut out a little channel and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so the channel's done. It didn't take too long. I also invested in a diamond shovel uh, to get things a bit quicker and then cheaped out on a level 5 enchantment. But the, uh, the the channel is now done. So what we can do is just fill this with water and get the water spreading. And I was thinking as I was digging all this out of a design of how I was going to have the water because the water channels. Because it's um, where it comes out of the mountain, there's kind of a big dip and then the the, mount, like the the terrain goes up and down quite a bit and I was thinking of having almost like a canal boat canal kind of theme to it because I've it's quite a British thing to um, have canal boats it's one of those things you have in England canal boats and stuff like that I've been on the canal boat holiday before I really enjoyed it so I thought I might as well do that because canal boats are really cool uh, at the moment this does look a bit boring so what I need to do is actually cut down the middle here so I can um, make it look a bit more realistic and also kind of give it like an industrial feel and if it had like a boring feel to it then it would kind of be quite nice because you're going to come through here you won't be able to see much of the base just because of uh, all the sugar cane and suddenly you appear through that little entrance there and then suddenly boom you see all the terrain and the uh, the if I do say so myself the amazing houses nah I'm just joking um there it's mediocre I copied it from somewhere I copied it from Im Imga I think um, so yeah, that's kind of my plan, and I think that will work. So what I need to... I didn't even jump then, that was weird. Is that one of those weird water bug glitches? Hmm. Oh, that reminds me of water. Um, we 1.8 update, that's going to be amazing. We can get a load of people on the Hermitcraft server when we um, update the map. And then we can get... Oh, Hermitcraft? Jeez, man. Uh, Chameleoncraft server. So uh, we can get a load of people and fight the awesome um, 
new whatever they are water bosses which look really awesome um, so I'm just going to finish off this and I will get back to you so I've made the hole through the mountain and I've gone with kind of a, a normal kind of tube tunnel design and I've come across a problem uh, the problem being I have no room in my inventory there we go problem being as you can see the terrain here is really that looks weird that's like a mini survival island what's that oh what we'll go over there and talk at the same time the problem being is as you can see the terrain is really rough and up and down up and down up and down and the water level that I want to get to is um, Y62 which is just over there in the flower forest um, now I don't know whether to come there it is again what on earth is that someone someone's made a like a survival island shall I go up there and have a look Oh, this is weird. See, I haven't been on this server in so long. Like, I haven't played on it in ages. There's so many things have popped up everywhere. Anything on the ground? Kind of explaining what's up here. Okay, let's... Uh, about here, that should be alright. Okay, let's go. Yes, yeah, so actually, yeah, we'll be able to have a good vantage point from up here as well. It's a good thing I spotted that. So there on the right, the, all the sugarcane stuff, that is where... Um, the river is, and you can see it on the left there. Oh, just unloaded over there. That's where I want to come from. Now, I don't know whether to come out a bit and have like a viaduct kind of thing, like a Romanian. Is it Roman? Not Romanian, a Roman viaduct or whatever it's called. I think that's what it's called anyway. Um, which would look kind of quite cool. Um, go with the style I want, that industrial canal style. And I think that's probably what I'm going to go for um, rather than just going down straight away and trying to make it look really natural. Um, so let's just head up here. Here it is. What on earth is this? There's vines on the side. Hmm. This is interesting. I don't want to break into it just in case there's this is someone's home or something. They're planning to do skyblock. There's a rav wow, that's a big ravine. That's a double ravine. This is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I'm going to head down and get to work on the uh, tunnel. Actually, no, I'll quickly show you the tunnel first. Um, I'll cut to that in a second so you can see what I've done. So here is the tunnel in all its glory. Uh, lots of stuff still on the ground. I haven't cleaned it up yet. I uh, haven't hollowed out the bottom either yet, but we've just got a little wall here. And also when building this, I kind of had the idea of maybe having some kind of like floodgates. Or some gates that come up, some double extending pistons maybe here, and then some single extended ones here, so we can kind of block it off and kind of open up our house to people that want to come in. Um, so yeah, this is the idea. The style I want to go for for the viaduct, have a um, viaduct or however you pronounce it, I want to go for is kind of like a stone brick, smooth stone um, feel to it, going all the way along. I'm going to have it going all the way out that way uh, until I hit land I think or should I just keep going out until I hit the water and then have a drop down I think I might do that then that will have a lot of materials that's that's a lot of resources but luckily I've been mining all that all this out with sir uh, with a silk touch pick um, so I've been getting a lot of smooth stone I've got a lot of smooth stone back at the base as well and I'll probably do this with my silk touch pick as well just so I can um, get all the smooth stone so I don't have to waste coal not saying I've you know, there's nothing to waste really I've got a lot a lot of um, coal as well from mining because I kind of got on mining rampages quite a bit. So I'm going to hollow this out and make a start on the um, beginning of the viaduct and then I will see you there. So I have done the tunnel, I've finished it on the inside, I've gone for a style that I'm wanting. Uh, my style is going to be half slabs on the bottom with um, stone brick stairs going up the side like that. I do feel however it does look a bit weird here because there's although you know Minecraft physics that's absolutely fine but it doesn't look very realistic because there's no kind of support however I feel that will do because you can you're not going to see it from like that anyway you're only going to see it from that side and then you're only going to see it from when you're inside as well you're never going to see it like that at all so it should be alright I've put um, 
some fences in the way so when we do flood it we don't flood everywhere and get rid of all the nice flowers and kill the little pigs uh, home and look how cute he looks in this texture pack and what is oh we have a witness no witnesses that was a good shot anyway um so we're done and also i've done this with the ceiling as well kind of like hooped it up to a point and uh that's a bit dodgy so need to fix that there we go um let's check the other side as well i didn't decide to do well i decided not to do the inside um all the way i just kind of went for this pattern it kind of stops here and then goes out to a point almost um i didn't i didn't want to do the entire of the inside because i want i still wanted that kind of raw feeling and also i forgot to mention there is a cave here that it cuts across uh, which could be an interesting feature i could put glass maybe there and stuff like that but we're going to try and flood this thing now i'm hoping it will work uh, with the new water mechanics that came in ages ago in minecraft and oh my god so there may be a slight problem as all these bottom ones are not going to be source blocks so what we're going to have to do is maybe to see if doing this will work or am I just going to screw up the water it looks like I'm going to screw up the water slightly maybe I really should have done um, oh what is it maybe I should have done uh, like a layer at the bottom before I did this just so I could do the, the bottom layer let's just open this up and see what happens probably not much because there's no source blocks anywhere there we go oh that reminds me we're gonna have to do some kind of weird transition between those two blocks so let's just do this oh this is awkward I ah, can't do quite get there so what I'm gonna do actually is go along like so all the way along okay and just, mm, this is going to be really awkward to do now. Okay, what I'm going to have to do is get some dirt blocks, quickly fill in this entire level here. Uh, this will mean then, you said you can see all the water spreading. And then once I've done this, I will let all the water spread and then just get rid of all the dirt blocks on the bottom. Okay, so we're pretty much done now. It didn't take too long. I'm just getting all this water ready. Getting all the source, source, source blocks, the source blocks as we go along. Hopefully that should be it. So there we go. Um, another problem I've seen. There's so many problems. It's not even a good project by the sounds of it. It does look good. I'm just messing with you. But the only problem is, is down the other end there is a transition from stone to dirt. Um, as we go into my base. This does look slightly dodgy. However it should be fine. If I can kind of smoothen it up a bit. And not just have a straight line and make it look really unnatural and um, I also have an idea for a plan for the inside um, basically uh, I don't know if you heard that my stomach has rumbled really badly uh, I kind of want to make it like really old ruins with vines and kind of lights and stuff like that that'd be pretty cool and um, I don't want to decorate it too much though because that would take a bit too much time and it wouldn't be really be worth it because I want this, this kind of plain look on it um, so here we are almost at the end and we're gonna ride it to end the episode that was my facebook don't check yours that was very unprofessional and i apologize so yeah this is the line here and it's gonna look pretty pretty bad um so maybe i just kind of merge it a bit more and yeah so let's keep going i've set a boat up down the bottom here it is hopefully i don't crash at my first go because i don't actually have anything to replace it got no wood at all so here we go no pressure no pressure no pressure Ooh, oh, 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 come on, why, oh, I've messed up, I've messed up, yes, no, why can't I do it, I did it first time on camera earlier, go, 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 no, come on, come on now, why can't I do it anymore, it did it fine earlier, yes, yes, that's it, that's it, there we go, and this looks really cool, Oh wow! And that's my Facebook again. That's unprofessional. That's so cool. Let's quickly put some torches like that. I know that's not evenly spaced now. It's going to bug me, but that's so cool. And that's my Facebook again. Let's quickly close that. There we go. Um, that is really cool. 
I'm, I'm happy with this actually. Oh, I love this so much. Let's quickly get to here, pop out my boat, and break it. And then look at it from over here, I think. So I want to kind of see what this looks like. Oh, that does look cool actually. Let's quickly get into a high, high vantage point. Let's use the stone, get up here. Oh, that looks really nice. Just popping out the, the mountain like that. Really cool. Um, thank you for watching this episode. I tried to do it in a different style today, a bit more relaxed, so that if you noticed. I really should have said that at the beginning. Because um, because uh, I don't know if anyone's watched this far. If you have, you're awesome. I love you. Um, yeah, I'm just really trying out different styles of commentating at the moment. Um, seeing if it does affect my channel in any way. Um, so... If you enjoyed the uh, video, leave a like down below. It really helps me out. really shows me that you enjoy the videos. And I will see you in the next episode of uh, Chameleon Craft or any other videos on my channel. Um, see you later.